The film begins in a future where the United States is in a second civil war. Texas and California have formed the Western Forces Militia, while Florida has created its own alliance. President Nick Offerman, serving a third term, hails a major victory for the Western Forces after a severe hit from the Loyalist states. Photojournalist Lee Smith, played by Kirsten Dunst, watches the speech from her New York City hotel room when a bombing unfolds downtown. The following day, Lee joins her colleague Joel as they go downtown in the middle of a protest. A younger journalist, Jesse Cullen, gets struck in the face in the middle of the chaos, and Lee goes to take care of her and give Jesse her fluorescent vest. Lee then notices a woman running into the crowd with an American flag and ducks for cover with Jesse as the woman charges in and suicide bombs the crowd. Once the noise has settled, Lee and Jesse take pictures of the aftermath. Lee and Joel later join their mentor Sammy at a hotel party for other journalists. They are planning to drive through the country's war zones to make it to Washington, D.C. for an interview with the president, even though he considers the press to be enemies. They know the trip is going to be dangerous, and despite his age, Sammy insists he join them to go to the front lines in Charlottesville, Virginia. Jesse overhears and approaches Lee as Jesse considers her to be her idol and wants to get pictures of the war as it is unfolding. After a brief conversation between Jesse and Lee, in the next scene, while in the bath, Lee is haunted by vivid images of war and innocent people burning alive in his mind. The next day, as the group prepares to leave, Lee notices Jesse joining them. A not-so-subtle conversation between Lee and Joel takes place regarding Jesse and Sammy being a part of the group, but Joel assures her that they won't cause any problems. While on the road, they stop to refuel, but find out they can only do so with Canadian currency. A gunman takes Jesse away, prompting Lee to follow. They witness two looters hanging by their wrists after being tortured. The gunman offers Lee and Jesse the choice to signal for their execution. Lee decides to take a photo with the gunman before he kills the looters off screen. Later, Jesse expresses her disappointment at not having captured any photos during the ordeal. The group stops at an abandoned mall so that Jesse can take pics of a downed helicopter while also apologizing to Lee about if she seems like a load to travel with, but Lee doesn't care. At night, they sit and watch the gunfire going on in the distance as it lights up the sky. Moving on, the four must pass through a sniper zone, staying alive while also getting the perfect shots. They witness as several men are shot in front of them. The group follows the allied militia gunmen up the building where they take the sniper out and capture the rest of his men. They take the captured individuals, blindfolded, preparing them for a mass execution by firing squad, while Jesse captures this harrowing scene. Upon reaching the refugee camp, the four settle down to relax and replenish. Lee and Jesse deepen their connection as she sifts through her photos from the recent sniper expedition. Reflecting on Lee's career beginnings, Jesse mentions her striking shot of an Antifa massacre. Lee admires Jesse's photography skills. As night falls, the group cherishes each other's company, forging stronger bonds amidst uncertainty and chaos. Continuing on their journey, the group arrives in a peaceful town seemingly untouched by the raging civil war that plagues the country. As they pause to purchase new attire, Joel inquires with the shop owner about the town's serene atmosphere amidst the chaos. The woman calmly reveals that the town has deliberately chosen to turn a blind eye to the conflict, opting to carve out their own tranquil existence amidst the turmoil that grips the nation. They then reach an uninhabited area where a soldier's body lies in the middle of the road. Jewel asks Lee to survey the surroundings with her camera, in case there are gunmen with cameras lying in wait. After inspection, they find nothing suspicious. As they move, they come under fire, prompting Jewel to quickly seek cover behind a parked truck to save them. Jewel, Jesse, and Lee then proceed on foot. Jewel encounters two gunmen and smartly moves towards them to avoid getting shot. When Jewel inquires about their identity as potential snipers, they mockingly reply that they are unaware and must eliminate the shooters from the house. Jesse and Lee capture a photo of the gunman as one of them successfully shoots the sniper. Later, the group notices a speeding car catching up to them, and to their surprise, it turns out to be Joel's journalist friends from Hong Kong, Tony and Bohai. Tony playfully climbs through the van's window, sparking some fun. Likewise, Jesse joins Bohai in Tony's car through a similar maneuver. Driving further, the journalists spot the halted car, its doors flung open. Loyalist gunmen emerge, revealing a gruesome operation, 
murdering innocents, and dumping them in shallow graves. Finally, they discuss how to save Jesse and Bohai from the gunmen so they won't kill them. Lee believes we should talk to them, while Sam disagrees, saying they don't want you interfering with their work and witnessing their crimes, they'll just kill all of you. When they arrive, they realize that the leader of the gunmen has captured Jesse and Bohai, and they could be killed at any moment. Then Joel approaches them and says, We are Americans and reporters just passing through, not involved with anyone. Please release my colleagues and let them go. However, mercilessly, he ends up killing Bohai, shocking everyone. He then asks them where in America they are, from what states. When they respond, suddenly he sees Tony standing in a corner, crying out of fear. He asks about Tony's nationality, and as soon as Tony says, I'm Hong Kong Jeez, he heartlessly shoots him too. Joel, Lee, and Jesse start panicking and screaming, and Joel pleads with him to stop, but suddenly Sam speeds by in a car, running over them and taking everyone down. Jesse and Joel quickly jump in time to avoid the car hitting them. Sam then says, Get in, all of you, while Jesse is amidst a pile of bodies, shaken and not knowing what to do. They quickly get in the car, but one of the gunmen who survived tries to shoot at them. After narrowly escaping the gunman, Jesse vomits in the back seat while Sammy reveals he's too injured to drive. Joel takes the wheel, navigating through a blazing forest to reach a Western Forces military base in Charlottesville. Sadly, by the time they arrive, Sammy has succumbed to his wounds. The group encounters a British journalist named Anya, who delivers the heart-wrenching news that some Loyalist generals have already surrendered. The loss of Sammy now feels even more tragic, as their harrowing journey seems to have been in vain. Lee and Jesse express their sadness at losing Sam in such a toxic way, and remark that despite his age, he was extremely brave. Jesse also states that she has never felt so fearless in her life, even though she is more aware of the meaning of life and being alive than ever before. Joel and Lee decide to join the WF group, as they had plans to travel to Washington, presenting a perfect opportunity for reporters to capture photos from this moment, a new age in American history. As they advance through the chaotic war zone on their way to the White House, Jesse eagerly focused on capturing the unfolding events with her camera, while Lee seemed paralyzed by the shocking reality around him. The members of the WF watched as their tanks effortlessly overpowered the remaining Loyalist forces before heading towards the heavily fortified White House. Despite the Secret Service's attempts to distract them with a decoy, the soldiers remained determined to locate the real president. The group makes their way into the White House, where they are met by more armed Secret Service agents. Despite her surrender, they assassinate the vice president with a gunshot, while Jesse takes a picture of this scene. Jesse nearly gets in the way, but Lee pushes her out and takes a bullet for her. Jesse ends up taking multiple pictures of Lee's final moments before she and Joel get into the Oval Office, where the WF soldiers hold the president down. Joel, filled with anger over losing his friends, then kneels to ask the president for a single quote. He begs Joel not to let the soldiers kill him, to which Joel responds with, that'll do. The president is executed, and Jesse gets a great shot of it. 